Good afternoon, Utah. Happy Thursday or happy Friday Eve. So far this week, our weather has just been kind of stagnant thanks to an area of high pressure that hasn't moved. And what also has become stagnant has been our air, especially in the valleys in northern Utah, where we've been, where we've been dealing with that inversion haze. And from USU Cache Valley looking towards Logan, I mean, you can see that haziness out there. So air quality in northern Utah, the Wasatch Front, Cache Valley, Box Elder County, and Tuella Counties, going to be moderate once again, and that looks like that's going to be persisting over the next couple of days as well. Meanwhile, Park City, once you get up in elevation a little bit, you don't have the air quality issues, just beautiful blue sky. But it's a warm afternoon so far, near 50 degrees right now in Park City, and then Canyonlands, absolutely stunning here. And if you're going to our national parks over the next couple of days, you're going to find some pretty fantastic weather, especially given it's the early half of December and daytime highs are not going to look like early December with a high of 55 degrees in Salt Lake City, 56 in Park City, 60 degrees in Heber. That doesn't look like December 2nd. In central Utah, middle to upper 50s with a few spots getting into the lower 60s, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies across the state, and with a daytime high of 66 in St. George, 54 in Bryce Canyon, and 58 degrees in Hanksville. Your hourly forecast in Salt Lake City mild right now with temperatures warming into the middle 50s during the course of the afternoon. Downtown Salt Lake City could get a little bit warmer than 55 degrees, but will still be mild during the early stretches of the evening as we keep the hazy conditions around, but we will start to cool down as temperatures eventually drop to or below freezing for most spots in Utah, with a few exceptions mainly in southern Utah. Let's begin the watching your weather for you. So the reason why our weather has not seen much of a change and what we've been talking about all week has just been a dome of high pressure that hasn't really budged, but we're going to start to see some subtle changes over the next couple of days. An upper level low pressure will kind of undercut this high pressure a little bit which will mean the high pressure will start to weaken a little bit. Temperatures will come down slightly, and we'll see even slightly cooler temperatures for your Saturday. The haze likely going to be sticking around a cold front approaching from the north, but that cold front really not going to be bringing us much changes. It's just going to allow that weak cooling trend to continue. But as we look a little bit further in the future, models are still liking the idea of a pretty potent system arriving early next week. And if that system does move in, that'll be an inversion buster, and it'll also be a good chance for some wet weather. So we're keeping our fingers crossed, but definitely good signs for Monday in into Tuesday. For St. George, middle 60s over the next handful of days, mostly sunny skies with overnight lows, middle to upper 30s. Along the Wasatch Front, it's hazy skies for today, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, but you'll notice that gradual cooling trend with the daytime highs. And then by the time we get into Monday, it looks like we'll see the chance for wet weather start to increase as our temperatures continue to cool.